Today we are going to go over a few whiskeys, mainly bourbon, that I think you should always be looking for when you're traveling. These are those bourbons that you'll always find, at least one of these places, anywhere you go. I want to put this list out for you. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the channel and checking out this video. I apologize because I haven't put out a video in it's about to be two weeks, right? Maybe a little bit more, I'm not sure. But yeah, I've been traveling. Um, it's been hectic since Halloween. I actually traveled the uh, morning right after Halloween and I've been traveling since. So hopefully you guys can see this video pretty soon. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it right away and put it out for you guys. But either way, I do apologize because I haven't been able to do it. Just work's been hectic. But with that said, this few trips that I've, been, that I've done have made me realize that, you know, you really don't know what you can get at different places, right? So I've been going to different hotels for work, um, different little mini hotel bars um, and meeting up with people at just random bars um, obviously customers or just taking customers out for um, for dinner right and at all these places that I've been at you know you still want to drink your whiskey or your bourbon but you're not always gonna have a choice of the ones that you normally drink like I know I didn't right but at these places there's always some go-to's that you could always get right some of the places that I've been to and that I've been to in the past have had all of these right some of these places have just had one of these right but it's at least good to know what you can have as a go-to to be able to still get your bourbon or your whiskey fix so I have a few here seven or eight maybe with an honorable mention without further ado let's get into it but but you know I always gotta uh, do an inaugural cheer so cheers guys that is good that is one that's on here you know you guys already know how I do it so that is definitely one that is on here and that is a great, great one. But we'll get to that one last. Let's get into these bourbons slash whiskeys that you can get anywhere that you go to travel for work. First one on the list is this one. I didn't find it everywhere. Um, probably not my first choice, but it would be a go-to if they were out of other things. And that is Elijah Craig small batch yeah we're not dealing with any uh, barrel proof or any toasted or any special variant right here we're just dealing with basically what they can buy in bulk and just give to people right so you're gonna have this you're gonna be able to find it but i will say that this is probably the one that i have found the least available in these places that i've been to which is a little weird to me but hey it is what it is. One that you will really find anywhere. I mean, this was everywhere. And the one that I have here is not the one that everybody else has because I have Woodford Reserved, and this is the double oak. But the one that I have found everywhere, in every at least hotel bar, is the regular Woodford Reserved, right? The regular one, I don't know if that's small batch or what it's called but it's the regular one that you can buy anywhere as well right so you will find this anywhere so if definitely if you're a woodford reserve fan yeah you're kind of in luck because you can definitely find that everywhere even at the airport um bars or restaurants you can find that as well so definitely try it out it will definitely hit you with that bourbon kick for you to you know stop wanting to drink some bourbon and actually get your fix, right? Surprisingly, not many had this, right? But I would say 
in more than half of them, they did have some kind of maker's mark. So here I have my cast strength one, but you're definitely gonna find the regular maker's mark or even the 46 at all these hotel bars, airport bars, or whatever. Um, but I thought I was gonna find this more in, in more places than I did. But you can't go wrong with a maker's mark. I mean, it's a weeded bourbon that's really good and it is, you know, found anywhere, right? The regular ones are definitely found anywhere. So you might see this as you're traveling, as you're going to places, and don't be afraid to just order this because sometimes the ones that we usually don't go back to because we had it so many times, are actually really good and you're passing up something that you could be drinking. All right, I was surprised about this one, right? But just like the Maker's Mark, I would say more than half of the places that I've been to and airports that I've been to, hotels that I've been to, restaurants that I've been to have had this. Now, they were a little bit more on the expensive side for, I guess a single or a double of this, but they had it nonetheless. And you guys know I love this one, and it is the Baker 7. Yeah, I was surprised. I'm like, you have Baker 7? Okay. Um, so I did get it a few times. Um, you know, there's obviously a single barrel, it's 107 proof, but this thing is amazing. I really, really love this bourbon, and it is a good bourbon. If you wanna spend a little extra cash, and you want to actually um, drink something that's really good and it's gonna knock your socks off. Okay, so this one was a bit of a curveball, right? So this is one of the non-bourbons that I have on here. Um, and it's weird because I wouldn't expect this to be on a lot of, at a lot of places, but it's a good, good whiskey. It is a Tennessee whiskey, and it is Uncle Nearest, right? This is the 1856, this is the one that I found everywhere. Um, yeah, everywhere that I've been to, they had this. And it's not bad, I mean, it's really freaking good. I always keep a bottle here, I just finished my other bottle, well, maybe a few weeks back I finished it, and I haven't opened this one, but I always try to keep an Uncle Nearest 1856, and I got an 1884 over there. So if you have not tried Uncle Nearest, definitely go out there and try it. It's really freaking good. And I was surprised that I found this because this is a really good choice to get at any airport, hotel, lobby, bar, and you won't be disappointed. All right, so, I know that I shouldn't be surprised, but I kind of was because I didn't think that a lot of places would have this over a lot of the other whiskeys that I just mentioned, but every place that I went to had this, and it is Angel's Envy. I mean, it's probably the one that everybody knows that's really not into bourbon, and usually when you ask a waiter or a bartender to give you a list of different bourbons that they have, they're usually going to say Angel Envy. That's usually the one of the first three, I would say, out of their mouths. Angel Envy, they might say Buffalo Trace, and they might say Woodford, but Angel Envy was always on that list whenever I would ask somebody, hey, what do you guys have for bourbon? Um, or what's on your bourbon menu? And then, yeah, it would always be on the bourbon menu. So, yeah. If you wanna try Angel's Envy, if you haven't tried it, definitely go to like a restaurant or one of these hotel, lobby, airport bars because they definitely have it there. So my honorable mention before I get into my last one is actually a rye, right? So uh, bear with me because I was very surprised that you would find this everywhere. Yes, everywhere. I've, it was just like the Angel's, uh, the Angel's Envy everywhere that I went to had this. Now, I didn't get it anywhere, right? But I still think it's good, and it's not particularly this offering, but it is um, High West, and this one is specifically Double Rye. Every place had Double Rye, but there were some places that had more than just Double Rye. They had either Campfire or Boo Rye or the Bourbon one. They had different ones. Obviously, no Midwinter's Night Dram, but they did have different ones that you could order, right? So if you definitely want to get into the rise, 
this is not a bad rye for you to order. Last one, and it's what I'm drinking here, so let's go in for that last cheers. Yeah, that is great. It is Knob Creek. Yeah, I mean, you have to see this coming, right? In a lot of places that I've been to, except for one, I wanna say, they always had a Knob Creek 9. They always had that. And this was basically the one that I would default to all the time, um, unless I felt like going to like a, a Baker's, 107, uh, Baker's 107 or something like that, or Baker's 7, sorry. Um, but this is the one that I always defaulted to. If they had nothing else, I would definitely go to this because, hey, it is what it is. Um, it's great, it's cheap, and it's oh, awesome. Daily Sipper, 100 proof, tastes really good, and it doesn't knock you out, but it doesn't show you that it's too bland, right? Everybody knows that Knob Creek is good, so I was excited that at every place, except for one place that I've been to, had this available. All right, guys, so that is my list of bourbons slash whiskeys that you can definitely expect to see at all the little hotel bars or whatever you go to, um, airport bars, restaurants that you take customers to or whatever that you'll be able to find occasionally or all the time, right? Um, that is the ones that I've seen. Obviously, there's a lot more, not really my cup of tea type of ones. Um, and I will say that I also did find a few places that had Eagle Rare, which was a little weird because here in Florida, you don't see that. Um, but these places did have it. So that was cool. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys find out there. When you guys go traveling, when you're at the airport or even staying in a hotel and they have a bar, what are you guys finding there? What is your go-to? What do you find everywhere? And what do you usually ask for, pay for, or get? Or do you splurge with like the big expensive ones? Like I did see that some places did have like a, a Pappy or uh, an E.H. Taylor or something like that. It was weird, but they did have it at like almost $50 a glass, which I wasn't going to do, but they had it nonetheless. So let me know what you guys do when you guys travel, uh, whether it's for work or for pleasure, or whatever. Let me know, comment below. Let me know, love chatting with you guys. Please like or dislike this video as that will really help me out. Please help me get to a thousand subscribers as we will be giving away some goodies. And, and check out the Patreon in the description. <laughs> um, no, but really going back to the subscription, we're gonna have a live stream at a thousand subscribers. So if you guys are subscribed, you're in the running to win one of I believe it's now up to three prizes. So let me know, help me out. That'll really be appreciated. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this Knob Creek 9 and I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers. Mm -hmm.